fellow Utopians. I'm Lynn and this is Kryptonite and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. This morning I'm starting off the day in with the rams that are keeping Cracker company right now. This is Kodiak. Kryptonite was here a minute ago. I'm hoping to get Kodiak and Kryptonite over to the coverall so we can let them out grazing. Um, right now we'd like to get all our sheep back on pasture because the pastures are there. And the problem is we have two sheep that are going away. So yesterday we had to get Lamborghini out of his group and bring him over here and squeeze them up so that he was with Cracker because I can't let those two out in pasture so they've got to be locked in the barn for another month so um, right now they're in with Kodiak and Kryptonite but it's time to move them out so Kodiak uh, Lamborghini and Cracker are there at the feeder there is a little bit of fighting at the beginning but they seem okay now. And over here we have Kryptonite. He's been in here for quite a while recovering from worm overload. But I'm thinking he's okay now and might do better if I can get him off to pasture and get him some nice fresh food. And Kodiak here may as well go with him. And then just these two are going to be stuck in the barn here since they're going to the States and that way they get to know each other before they leave as well. Okay, I just managed to separate these two out. Arnie's not here right now because he went to the sales barn this morning uh, with a small load of sheep. We're just kind of tidying things up around here, ready for fall and we want everyone to be where they need to be at this point of the year, not all over the place. These two are going to be the only misfits, and hopefully they'll be okay with just two of them. And I'm going to try get these guys across the yard by myself, but if that doesn't work, we'll do it when Ernie gets here. Although I guess I could put them in with the big guys. I'm not sure to who, who to put these guys with. <coughs> but Lamborghini is not happy because he misses his group and he doesn't recognize Cracker yet. So <clears throat> these are always stressful times because, <coughs> yep. This is where, when you're wait. this is the problem with selling sheep if you're holding them because you're feeding them, you have to house them differently and you're just terrified that something's gonna happen to them. So we're doing our best, but it's, uh, it's, all, it's a bit of stress. As always when Arnie heads to the sales barn, there's a lot of cleaning up I have to do, putting stuff away and moving these gates and ramps and stuff out of the way. So these are the three boys that didn't go to market. I'm going to have to name these guys eventually, but they made the cut. We all know Leonard. We got two more in here. Hi guys. And I'm thinking of adding Kryptonite and Kodiak to these guys group. But Kryptonite and Kodiak, when I look at these guys, are way bigger. So I don't want them to hurt these guys. But they should be nice. Hi. Hi, you guys want to be friends now too? Hi. 
And here are the other keeper boys. Hi. Hi, buddies. Goodness, you guys are nice. Hi. Hi, you're really nice. You guys are all nice. Oh, don't fight, you guys. God, that was a wicked hit. This is the bad part about fall. This is when you're going to have the most rams fighting, even with their buddies. Well, Arnie's still not back. And while he's been away, I trimmed off one of Leonard's friends. Problem is, Leonard doesn't recognize him anymore. So he thinks he's more than just a little attractive right now. He's one of the young lads that got to stay. Let's see. Leonard's finding his haircut extremely, extremely attractive. Leonard, he's not that attractive. The other guy won't let me go up to him yet. But this guy hadn't been touched before either, so. Leonard, he doesn't like that. It's just a new haircut. What's up, Bob? Hey Ben, Max, come on. Max, come on. Hey boys, hey. Hey Ben, good dog, Benny. The only thing wrong what we do is they come into the barn at night and during the day for out of the heat because there is no shade here and what they'll do is uh they'll graze this uh front section right here they'll graze this front section right here where lynn's standing at the entrance you can see all the all the wear and tear and on the back of the field all along the road there is all about a foot high where they are right now, way back there. I can zoom in a little bit. So it's a lot higher over there. Shortly, they're gonna go into this field, which is extremely lush. 
as you can see there. There's lots of grass in this field. It's uh, it's only 10 acres, but actually it's, uh, just, it's quite good grass. So this is where they're going to end up. And then after this field, right behind that browner field right there with a little bit of old grass in it, is 15 acres. It did actually come back quite well too after the rain we've had. And they're going to spend probably the fall months in there. And we'll probably run these lambs out in the pastures until it snows. Until they don't want to grow anymore, let me put it that way. It's probably going to snow quite a bit. And at that point, they don't want to walk in the snow. And, uh, yeah, our chores are pretty easy right now. I guess when you look at the... When you look at the UK, the sheep are nice and clean, but our sheep uh, stay inside some of these sheep. And you, can, you can see what happens, they get quite, quite dirty. Sorry girls. But these, these sheep are going to be in a breeding group real shortly. With Lynn's favorite ram. I'm uh, I'm Ernie. People might recognize know me from Utopia Farms. I'm doing the night chores tonight because Lynn's feeling a little sad because um, I had to go to Sales Barn today with some of the last sheep that uh, had to move on. It's just uh, something we had to do with farming. It's never, uh, it's never Lynn's nicest day, but uh, but anyways, uh, yeah. So uh, Lynn's got a little in, under the dumps uh, tonight, so I'm doing chores, and uh, we'll have a better day tomorrow. I think tomorrow we're gonna let the uh, tomorrow we're gonna let all the rams out to the pasture, the adult rams. So tomorrow's gonna be a little bit of a different day. See that? What's retirement looks like? Hey, you guys. These two little white lambs hang right together. Funny how they do that. They're born the same and they're, they hang around the same. Anyway, so I'm out tonight doing chores on my own, which I do most nights. And uh, like I say, tomorrow we're, tomorrow we're gonna put the rams out. I, uh, I'm hoping uh, that these uh, sheep get into a breeding group in uh, the next couple days. Come on, Ben, boy. I think they pushed the gate shut here. Hey, guys. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to open the gate for the sheep. They're locked out. Come on, Ben, be nice. That was my mistake. Won't tell Lynn about that. Hey, girls, you wanted to come in, eh? And you couldn't come in because I had the gate locked. Oh, easy, girls. I had the gate locked. Uh, I locked it today uh, to, uh, to keep them out in the pasture. And I forgot to open up the gate. Good boy, Ben. Hey, Ben. Good boy. You're a smart little dog, Ben, aren't you? Oh, mine's going to last you in while I'm at it. Hey, Ben. Come on, boy. Ben's been extremely good with the sheep. Ben. Ben. Be nice. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Come on. So the sh I guess we got a shearer coming on uh, Monday. Uh, today's uh, today's Monday, so next Monday, seven days from now, the shearer is coming to finish up shearing. If everything goes well, I hope he shows up and gets that job done. 
This, uh, these are the last lambs born and they haven't been shorn off yet. And then they can grow a nice colt back for the winter. Hey Ben, see Ben does a real good job. Come on Ben, let's go. See Ben. I think Ben's a herding dog, aren't you Ben? Come on Ben, come on. Come up there Ben. Come on Ben, come on. Hey girls. Supposed to have a few showers tomorrow, I think. I hope for that grass seed that I put down we have showers. It needs a little bit of rain. It's been quite dry here the last uh, couple weeks. Hey girls. Yeah, so with us, we, uh, I, I think people know it, we, uh, we lock the sheep up at night because uh, there's uh, severe coyotes around here. So, they're locked up. Hey girls. This, this, uh, this whole barn is, uh, is uh, full of new lambs. Yeah, Lynn doesn't have the heart to sell anybody, and she'll be the first one to tell me we're getting too big. And we're actually keeping them all. Hey, girls. So I just gotta do uh, feed these guys up a little bit. Hey, girls. These are girls. Hey. So these are, these lambs actually here, I think you know the story. These, these lambs are all a year old and they're gonna be introduced to the ram uh, for the first time now. So these, uh, sh these sheep are gonna have uh, a lamb. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, uh, 17 months they're gonna have their first lambs. Some people might make that a little shorter, but I'm really fine with that. Makes them fill out quite well. And they're in good shape right now. It's extremely good shape. Oh, actually, a bunch of these are sold. So these ones with the red stripes on them, they're all sold. I think they're going to be leaving shortly. So I'm just going to set this phone down for a few minutes and finish this up, and we'll move to another barn. Don't jog. So, let's grab the spoon for a second here. Still quite warm here yet, so we've got the fan still going for some fresh air. Uh, it's just more or less to keep the air moving in the barn because there's not much wind outside. But, uh, you see, we've uh, made those doors just kind of big. Some people might think they're a little bigger than what they should be, but I like them. Um, so, we're down here tonight. There's uh, Hamish, is it? I think it is, or other ramp. They're gonna feed for tonight. And 
this barn here is kind of teasing the rams a little bit. Where's Lad? I think Lad's okay now. Glad I think I think uh, I actually think uh, Glad uh, uh, had a little bit of heat stroke. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Well, I guess see, uh, Glad's the one right, uh, right there. Probably doesn't like the other ram looking in there. But I'm hoping Glad's not too, uh, not doing too much right now. But hopefully he's got the whole group bred. But not likely. But we can only wish. So we're going to shut this barn down tonight. I'm done. Like I say, it wasn't a very exciting day on the farm today. <laughs> it uh, it tasted me about uh, it takes me about four hours uh, to go to the market and come back. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, these two rams are staying here. That was Lynn's uh, show ram from last year. It got loaded with parasites. It's doing quite well now. And the ram behind him is a gladiator son. Which I definitely wouldn't part with that one. Try to find a home for it. Or I'm going to end up using it. It depends. And uh, these two... Uh, <coughs> These two lambs right here are going to the States. They're sold in the States. Uh, so we actually, uh, uh, Mike, Mike uh, purchased them. Um, I'm not sure if everybody knows who Mike is. But uh, we, I, I said to Lynn, we'll get them in the same pen. Uh, they can get used to each other. That they'll, uh, they'll know uh, who they are. So they're going to stay here until they're shipped, uh, I think, in a couple weeks. So, we got a, a little temporary wall up here, and they're pretty happy. They got lots of hay, and they got fresh water. So that's it for tonight. And I have no cat food. Oh, can I go back to the house get some cat food? Well, just wanted to say something. We didn't have a didn't have a real good day in the farm today. It was kind of quiet. And we were kind of burnt out. And, uh, yeah, I, I sh always shut this room down because, uh, we have those nasty little raccoons that come around here at night and get into everything. So I shut things down just to kind of keep the animals away. I can't get rid of them, so I guess I gotta live with them. But anyways, uh, I was gonna say, uh, I'm just gonna get some cat food. Can I get a little bit of cat food for a second? I was just going to say for a second is uh, people say, you know, I guess it's, I guess I'm talking now because it's the wrong it's the wrong time to ask me any questions, eh? <laughs> but people always say, you know, it's so nice to farm and it's so relaxing and and everybody wants to farm and I see that because you're you're farming you're your own boss. But that's going to tell you how bad farming is. Uh, we started lambing last uh, January, uh, Christmas time. We started dropping the lambs. And we dropped, I think, about 350 used lambs uh, we dropped on the ground. Uh, so that goes on for two months, I think, two and a half months lambing. Pretty well burnt out at that time. And then, you know, your lambs are feeding finished off. Uh, into May, June, and then we start selecting who's going to go to the market, who's not going to go to the market. And uh, but I just tell you, so on the month of on the month of May, uh, I start going on the fields for doing my crops. So you're seeding down grass seed, you're putting barley in, planting beans, planting corn, to try to be self-efficient on the farm. And I'll show you really how bad it is. Right now, so it was May, so right now is the 1st of September. So that's 6, so that's May. So May, June, July, August, September. So in five months, my crops are coming off the fields. 
the corn's just maturing right now. The beans are all in pods, just drying down, maturing right now. The barley's already come off. The grass seed's a foot high that I see it in the spring. Um, we seeded down, I know we're a small farmer, we seeded down 25 acres of alfalfa for new hay fields. We're planning to take down 40 acres of old hay fields that will be uh, took down to run the crops next year because we have too much hay. I'm already I'm already buying pre pay I'm already pre booking my bean seed corn seed. I'm already pre pay uh, sprayers coming in to do Roundup for next year's crops. And it's actually it's a little bit creepy. I'm actually planning my whole I'm actually planning my whole year. For next year, and it's and it's still fall yet, and and it shows you how, how uh, it shows you. <laughs> I know I'm dragging on here. It just shows you, you really don't get a day off. You're always thinking, you know. So it's just yeah, it's just I I don't know why, I don't know why I'm talking about this. I'm just kind of venting out a little bit. I gotta bring the bucket over the house to get a little cat food. I'm just venting out a little bit on that, but. But yeah, it just it just seems to never shut down, eh? But uh, but I uh, I don't regret farming at all. I actually like it. I'm going to miss it someday, I think, pretty heavily. But uh, but everything comes to an end, I guess. And I don't know why I'm venting. You know, Lynn will probably just cut this part out because uh, I'm kind of just dragging on. Anyways, so I guess I'm going to call this a night. Uh, I'm going to shut the, feed the cats, shut things down. I'm going to bring the phone into the house because Lynn does everything on the phone. And I'm going to call this night. Um, you can describe or give us a like or a click or whatever. And anything you would like, to, any questions you would like to ask us, uh, please do. Uh, it's nothing nicer than uh, having problems to solve and other people's issues and other how other people do it. So... Like I say, if you have any questions, please ask us. Love to help anybody out. And maybe some people can help me out. But good night. And I guess I'll, then I'll be talking to you in the morning. Have a good evening. And I'll talk to you shortly.